Hi. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I have something embarrassing to tell you. It's so embarrassing. An extremely... Hold on. I have a big giant thing of Mountain Dew, and I'm like, parched. I just woke up. Well, I didn't just wake up. I've been up for like... 20-something minutes or something like that. It started with me rolling over and cuddling my husband and him looking me in the face and saying... You're so beautiful and smiling and kissing my forehead. And then I found out my cat broken. And then he started meowing and meowing, meowing. And that activated my asshole. And I had to take a big, massive Jurassic Park shit. And so I came back here and got all my, like, video equipment together. And now we're, we're talking about me taking a big, massive Jurassic Park shit. So... That was lovely. It's been a lovely start of the morning. So, <laughs> as you can see, I did go back to jail. And I don't regret it this time. It was perfectly, it was, it just, it had to be said. Because Ryan Upchurch was on Twitter saying how wonderful and good he feels because he got super high in Las Vegas. Ooh. So I said, wait, let me, let me, let me pull this up in Twitter. And so this is how I got in jail. So I said... Um, where the fuck is it? Shit, I think they erased it. Did they? No, I don't know. Okay, let me see. I said, I don't care. You are a career ruiner because someone won't fuck your dick. Fucking cows, casting couch, looking ass bitch. I said those words. On Twitter. And you, what Twitter did automatically right they put me in twitter jail for 12 hours i'm in the pen at twitter jail what am i supposed to do so i tweeted something else out oh i got twitter jail for calling up church a casting couch looking ass bitch hey dude Try to get a woman your age. You kind of stink like Onision. Hebophiles got to stick together, yo. So I'm still, like, invoking my right of free speech. It's just that certain people can't see it. It sucks going to the pen. It really does, man. There's nothing I could do about it. But I started. I started. By just looking at my Twitter because I had to take a shit. Baby, you got that on camera. You just farted right on my knee. It was juicy feeling. I felt it reverberate. It reverberated. So, there's another story on Twitter that I also made a comment on. And it was really funny. Because, see, I'm like trying to be a real good comedian now. And it started like this. This is what I put. Nothing is like saving the world from guns by passing out dildos. Why shoot people when you can go fuck yourself? Great sentiment. 
this generation wins bigly. So basically, there's a college student called Caitlin Bennett. And what is she doing right now? She's passing out dildos on her college campus. And it's a lot. It's big, giant, freaking big black dildos, you know? That you could probably murder someone with by just slapping them in the face. Because they're that big and huge and, like, black. And anyway, <laughs> she's passing them out on campus in response to, you know, protesting guns. Because, you know, nothing says protesting guns like dildos, you know. Is that a gun in your pocket? Are you just happy to see me? No, it's my big, fat, black, giant dildo. I'm going to smack you in the face with it. No guns. We'll kill each other with smacking each other in the face with big black dildos. That, that is, I think, a great sentiment for America. I really think that's how America sh could, should really go down. Is we just arm the Muslims, the gays, uh, the, the the transphobics, you you, you know, all all of, all of them. You, you got the you got the you know. You got the Mexicans, you got the blacks, you know, all the minorities. And then we just all give them big black gi giant dildos. And we just like, here, smack each other. And then they all like smack each other with the big black dildos and like die and shit. I think that would be great sentiments on everything. I think that's how we should end it. I think we should all just massively suicide each other by smacking each other with big black dildos. Please don't take me seriously for that joke. I just made that up off the cuff, and I'm tired. I think it was funny, though. <laughs> okay, so anyway, good morning. Good morning. Um, no, I'm serious. There is a girl on campus that is passing around big, giant, black dildos. Like, let me see if I can get this on camera for you so you can actually see. Watch. I'm sure this generation, this younger generation, is going to do us really good by fighting absurdity with absurdity. Um, so, I guess in, in, when they get to Congress, they're going to start, instead of, you know, actually debating, they're just going to throw each other, throw, you know, pies at each other's faces and hope that it sticks. Because, you know, that's how, that's how this generation reasons. Uh, with just stupidity. And, um... I, I just, I, I, I don't know. I think Jesus is gonna come back. I really, that generation, please, please, Lord, don't, don't, don't let that generation run this world. That generation is just, oh my god, what is wrong with that generation? What is wrong with the generation below me? What is wrong with you guys? Why are you guys protesting guns by handing out dildos? That seems some like some massive ass fucking shitty ass excuse just to pass out dildos. I want to be sexually liberated. My parents never let me do anything in my entire life. I'm sure your parents are going to be so proud of you that you protested guns by passing out dildos to kids. 
I'm sure she's gonna look back as an old woman and be like, Edgar, you remember that time I passed out a big black dildo in protest to guns? That was the good old days. Now everyone's oh, I'm damn Trump, that damn Trump damned everyone. He said it was an American right. And I thought my generation was supposed to bring in frickin' communism and socialism in this country. But it didn't happen that way because the older generation kicked our ass. They said we had all the guns and we didn't have all the guns. Instead, we had big black tiltos. So the government tried to impede our lives and take away the guns, but it didn't work because the people had the guns. And they took those government officials down, and America became free again. Well, I guess us liberals didn't think things out quite too well. We ha we wanted the guns to be taken away, and ha give everyone free big black dildos. It was it was going to be glorious. Everyone fucking themselves, big gaping holes. Big giant, massive gaping holes. It was like a big giant black hole theater. And then, and then, in comes the gun toting mother freaking conservatives. And they said, You take my guns, all my freedom, all my life. You can't take my gun. And they didn't. Cause the government got scared. Because the people were armed. And the sleeping dragon was awakened. And they were like, fuck that shit. And America regained its freedom. Yes. Sorry, that was a long tangent. <laughs> Did I say good morning, people? Um, I'm, I'm in a world of worlds. Actually, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just kind of like. I should be signing papers with the apartment tomorrow. So I'm like really like freaking nervous because I've never, ever, 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 ever lived in a place this fancy like I remember me and me and Jason like driving up to this place after spending hours in the car we go to this big secured place and we see this place and it's so fancy and I'm like oh my god I don't even belong here honey but yet we're gonna get this place And you're going to see fancy-ass kitchen cooking videos. It's going to be glorious. It's going to be salivational. I'm going to like it. You're going to enjoy it. This mama can cook. I can cook. I can cook better than most people. I'm not trying to brag. I'm just saying I'm poking his butt. His cute little butt. He's got such a cute little butt. He does. You are so cute. Oh my god, he is cute. He's so cute. I'm sorry. I'm getting like lovey feelings for the hubby. <laughs> then we're all doomed. You can't cure stupid. No, you can't cure stupid, but, you know, it's okay. It's okay. We will live. We will live through this. We will be victorious. So. There goes my, um, so. I guess he kind of he figured out that, you know, it was kind of clickbaity and I didn't really go to jail. I went to Twitter jail, but not, not like real physical jail. Um. 
But that that that's okay. That I didn't go to physical jail. I last time I went, I didn't want to be there last time. So I don't want to be there again. In fact, I won't, in the name of Jesus Christ, ever go to jail, ever again. Cause Twitter jail is so much better, and it's only twelve hours, and it was well worth saying that to him. Cause I am so sick of men. Taking a taking a young girl's um, power away by using their power against them, and, and he is a casting couch ass looking bitch. He did do the casting couch. Katie Noel didn't put out, and he was like, "Fine, I'm going to ruin and destroy your career." Well, Katie Noel, I'll buy your albums out of spite. Because no man should be treating a girl like that. I don't care if you're trying to prove a point that you're a man. When a girl says no, it means no. It doesn't mean continue on. That's just how I feel. I think that's how most women feel. And men. You know. You don't want someone rubbing on you that you don't want rubbing on you. We all know that. I mean, I wish my hubby would be rubbing on me. But he's like, no, I'm going to turn my back. I'm going to ignore you. He'll be okay. He's trying to sleep, Shanny. Yeah, well, he, he used to fall asleep listening to my voice, so this is nothing to him. It really isn't. And I, I'm talking about, like, those videos where I'm, like, yelling and screaming like a maniac on camera because I wasn't happy. And now that I am happy, it's like, even though, like, all this fucked up shit is happening, at the same time, I'm freaking happy. And you may wonder, why, Shannon? Why are you happy? Why could you possibly be happy? Well, I have my love. I have the hubby. He's in my life. He's there for me, and we're friends. That's all that matters to me. That's, that's what gives me true happiness, is the hubby. The best part of waking up is CBD. Like, I'm, I'm just going to push CBD. Have you ever woken up with CBD in your system? Ever decided to wake up and be like, hey, I wouldn't mind some CBD in my system. Well, let's get that beautiful bean footage going. And you take a nice, lovely hit of that CBD, which is legal in all 50 states, by the way. You breathe that beautiful hemp in your lungs. <coughs> and you let those cannabinoids enter your endocannabinoid system and allow happy, beautiful moments happen within your system where you become calm and collected. You're not as stressed out. You're thinking straighter. The brain fog from the fibromyalgia is just slipping away in oblivion. And you're like, oh, I can think again. And you let those, cannabinoids enter those are the things that CBD can do. And not only that, it eases your pain. So if you're an old wretched ass like me, who have nice, wonderful arthritic bones like me, you can get the edge taken off by a nice inhale or cream. You can you can get CBD in your system through balms and creams. You can get CBD in your system by eating it. You can do it by smoking it. You can put a little bit under your tongue, let it hold, let it absorb in your system. And it will let you 
live again. Everyone needs cannabinoids. Everyone craves cannabinoids. Everyone. Do you know breast breast milk has cannabinoids in it that is a very close to THC and they say the elements within breast milk why it has such a strong THC like effect on the child is it become because it helps with bonding and helping the child relax uh, that's pretty cool science if you think about it that boob milk it's pretty much pot so get yourself a pair of boobs and drink up you'll get high <laughs> that's right your boobs can get you high am I getting an echo let me see does this sound better I noticed that I, sorry let me see my I need to hear myself real quick I apologize Is it better sounding? I don't know. Let me put this on. One minute. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. I don't know. I don't hear what other people are saying. They say they hear an echo. But I um, put this on mute, so this might sound a little bit better. I don't know. It's like white lightning through the church. I, I don't even know that song, but I love a rainbow in the dark. It's a rainbow in the dark. <laughs> You ever wake up with songs stuck in your head or is it just something that people who are like musically inclined tend to do I don't know I have disappointed the people I have clickbaited them and I apologize no I don't apologize I don't apologize at all for my clickbaity behavior I like my clickbaity behavior. I think it's funny. <laughs> so, anyway, I said what I needed to say. You guys have a good day. Now, I might come on and play some GTA, because I really want to play some GTA. It just sounds delightful, don't you think? Anyway, peace, mayor, and awesome people. I love you guys. Like and thumbs up this stuff, man. Subscribe to me. And, and love me. And make me your friend. That's all I ask for. I ask for love. Always. Always. Anyway. Oh, by the way... That picture of my ass that you guys are passing around on Twitter. I have to say, I look at that and I'm like, damn, that is a good shot of my ass. I'm just saying, I got a great ass. I do. You're all like trying to make it seem like it's some kind of icky looking thing. But I'm like, damn, that's some quality looking ass. And most guys who see it know deep down that I got some quality looking ass. Okay, it's not a bony ass. Nice, fleshly fucking ass. Yeah, it's usually a crap song from the 70s. Oh my god. Yes. Ever woke up with ABBA stuck in your head? <laughs> now I got ABBA stuck in your head, isn't it? Young and sweet, she's only 70. Sorry, now I got that song stuck in your head. Damn it. 
don't get ABBA stuck in my head. That ABBA's so catchy. I hate their music, but at the same time, it's catchy. You know what I mean? Sucks. Just sucks, dude. But back to my ass. You can cr try to, like, show that ass picture all you want. But to me, I think that's some pretty quality ass shotage. I think it's amazing ass shot, actually. Dancing queen. For the queen. Um, what, what was that? The producer? We're, we're full of queens. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Captain Jack. Sorry. I have a theme for John. Captain Jack Harkness. Doctor Who. He's like perfectly like symmetrical. And so pretty. It's like like the, just like the perfect man. And it's like, don't you hate that? You see, like he's like physically like the perfect man. And it's always, always he ends up gay. And it's like, ah. Oh. I don't know why I feel this, but I feel this as a woman. As a woman, I just feel like what a waste of genetic material. It's so beautiful. But I mean, I mean, yeah, you you can have babies and gay. I'm not saying that, but at the same time, it's like. Why do you have to be beautiful and gay? That's just not fair to women. It's like being beautiful and gay for a woman. Like a beautiful woman and she's completely lesbian. And like the men can't even like even like even imagine having her because it's like, oh, she's not even interested. And it's like, oh. It's gotta disappoint a guy when he finds out a chick is a lesbian or excite him. It probably excites him more. It excites you guys more, doesn't it? You guys are such perverts. Get over yourself. A woman finds a guy gay and she's like, Aw, oh, damn, my chance is ruined. A guy thinks, oh, finds out a girl lesbian. He's like, yeah, baby, can I watch? Or it could be a mishmash of anything because, you know what? According to everyone now, gender is fluid. Like, sexuality is fluid. And your brain is fluid and just... You know, we are fluid. The earth is fluid. We live in weird times. You know, that's a good question, troll. I think, personally, they're keeping weed illegal is because they have to go the government has to fix up their underground you know trades before they can make it legal if you know what I mean see the government makes more money with it being illegal than it being legal Because, think about it this way. Not only does the government get, like, fines and, you know, all that wonderful stuff when they catch someone smoking the big old ganj. But not only that, they, it, it being medical, they can tax it in a certain way. Like they want to. According to FDA standards. And then... And then, man, and this could be totally out of my asshole, man. They may just be, you know, and then they take the weed off the streets, dude, and then they sell it underground again. It's like an endless cycle. I could be completely wrong about this. It could be completely conspiracy, but I don't care at this moment. I don't know the, I don't actually know the answer. I'll just be honest. I don't know. I just think the government is an idiot. I think, frankly, I think it's illegal because they know that it's very medicinal and they really can't control it very well. And, um, 
it was a good it was a good way how to get like money off the people and keep them you know people enslaved and not only that big pharma pays big money to keep it illegal because they know that weed works better than their fucking pharmaceuticals it does weed works better than pharmaceuticals hands down and hands down weed works better than pharmaceuticals so they know that secret and they know ah oh, shit if weed's legal pharma's not gonna you know get as much money because everyone's just gonna smoke pot and i i i think they're doing it because pharma big pharma pays good money to these stupid fucking senators who just want to be bought off and not actually take care of the american people if you actually cared about the american people senators if you actually want to win the next election legalize it like Trump, this is the best time ever to legalize pot if you want to win the election. Trust me, the potheads will vote for you. Well, they won't actually, I'll be honest. The pothead, if you legalize pot before the election, the potheads are just going to be like, you know what, I'm not going out tonight. I'm just going to stay home. I'm just going to stay home, man. I don't want to go vote, man. And all that's going to vote is old people and conservatives. So, yeah, Trump will win. Oh, dude. No, Trump. A lot of pot smokers are fucking li liberals. Fucking legalize it. They won't go out on election day. Think about it. It's amazing. It's genius. And they would vote for you, too. But, you know, pot's legal. They don't want to get out of the house. They just want to stay home, chill, and relax. You know, Netflix and chill. I'm speaking truth here, and you damn well know this is the truth. If you're a pie head, you're not going to go out on election night and, and vote. You're going to stay home and smoke the fucking ganj. Damn well know that's the truth. Because God knows I could be doing a lot more in my life if I didn't smoke so much pot. And But you know what? I didn't get in trouble when I was smoking pot. Well, I did, but, I mean, that was because, you know, I got myself in trouble. Well, it wasn't the pot. It was alcohol. Yeah, pot is good, alcohol. Y you know, you remember in Up in Smoke when Tommy Chong was, like, in court and he was really thirsty because he took, like, a bunch of fucking drugs all at once? Like, we're talking about masculine freaking acid. He just dropped that shot and, like, freaking swallowed it and then puked on freaking, you know, Cheech. You, you know that part? And then he goes and tries to drink the water from the judge's table, and then he spits it out, and he's like, fucking vodka, man. See? Always, always, always potheads always hated alcohol. It's just, it's just standard. It's just like pot is superior. I could be completely wrong about that, too. No, I'm not wrong. Pot is so much superior. Alcohol will kill you. Okay? I have pretty much proven on camera, on this channel, that you cannot overdose from weed. And I smoked more than most people could even try. Three and a half ounces of Mary Jane in three hours. I didn't know D. I shat my pants, but I did not OD. And that that's proof. You can smoke a shit ton of weed and not die. Because I survived that shit. But if you drink a shit a shit ton of alcohol, you will die. Or pass out first. Whatever works. Probably the passing out. I don't know. Do you like being passed out? I don't. I don't like alcohol. I really don't. I don't. Uh, it's just. Uh, no. I like my CBD. I love my CBD. CBD is like the greatest thing in the entire world. Um. So, yeah, I think I talked you guys' heads off, and uh, thank you for listening. Um, it was random, and it's been real, yo.
but uh, I got a fucking shit ton of fucking shit to do. I might be on later and play some GTA to chill out. Peace. And Maranatha, people.